back to another video with Nails by Bats. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I do a unicorn horn nail. Just sit back, relax and enjoy the video.
do excuse my iPad going off.
Okay, so that's the base done. I'm now going to stop the video for all of two seconds for you guys, just while this sets up. Okay, back in a bit. Hey everyone, welcome back. So now, now this is dyed it, I've filed and buffed it. And what I'm going to do is put all the little grooves on to create the unicorn horn. didn't realise the hand wasn't in shot, so I do apologise about that silly, silly bats. And with each groove, guys, make sure you take the liquid out the back of your brush before placing it onto the nail. That way then, the acrylic ball that you've just picked up will stay quite solid be a little less runny when you come to creating the nail as well A little bit too much acrylic on with that. With each groove that you, you make, as you either as you go further up the nail, you'll have to pick up 
slightly bigger beads or if you're going down towards the bottom down here then you'll have to pick up smaller beads As you can see, or I hope you can see this little bit, I've had to pick up a ridiculously small amount of clear acrylic, which I'm not going to lie, is probably one of the best clear acrylics I've ever used. You've just got to work a little bit thicker with it, otherwise it will crystallise. With all products I've used, I'll link them in the description box below so you can go and check them out if you want to. Or you can just sit back and relax whilst watching the video. Whatever takes your fancy.
I'll be back in just a tiny minute whilst I wait for these little grooves to set and I'll show you what I'll do. Right, welcome back. Now what I'm going to do is get a no wipe UV LED top coat from Nao. Um put this all over the nail. And then cure it for two minutes. Making sure that I get all the little nooks and crannies to fill them up but not to overload the ridges otherwise you won't be able to see the definition of the cuticle horn cuticle horn unicorn horn I think I'm losing my marbles today um, yeah so anyway kept being careful not to overload the cute the grooves with top coat and as you can see I've gone and overloaded them a little bit I'm just wiping the polish off the brush going back in between each groove and taking off the remainder then I'm wiping it back on the bottle again and going back into the next groove and taking the excess off and wiping it off the brush onto the bottle again. I didn't want to put any more on there, so I don't know why I've done that. Yeah, I do. Just getting around these tiny little edges. Making sure there's very little product in the grooves. Now it's not the last time we've used that polish. So now what I'm going to do is cure this. Just so we can get the next part of the tutorial done. Now for the next part, I'm going to use this pearl gold powder that I got from Glitter Planet years ago. don't think I'll be able to link that one in the description because I don't know if they still do it. But once this nail is dried, we'll get to put in some powder on. So again, now what I find useful to put any sort of chrome powder or pearl coloured powder on is one of these and I got this from Glitter Planet also quite a few years ago but these are readily available in practically anywhere okay come on lamp you want to put the powder on the nail? If you haven't gathered already guys, I'm a bit of a madhead. Right, okay. So, now this nail's done. I'm going to open this pot if I can. And of course, be careful guys, this powder will go everywhere. And a tiniest, tiniest little bit will go a long way.
making sure it gets in those grooves so you've not got one little bit left out make sure you get all the edges of the unicorn horn as well hey i got it right for once but yeah make sure you get all in the grooves make sure there's no excess powder left And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this cap back on the powder before it goes everywhere again. I'm covered in the stuff now. What I'm going to do again is get, well actually we're going to get the brush, the dusty brush, just dust off any excess. I don't don't know whether you can make it out on there actually um, but there's, pe there's that glitter powder all over the dolly's finger so now I'm just coming back in with Naya Nails Urban Graffiti top coat I'm just going all over the nail to seal in this powder. And once I've done that, I'm going to go back in between the little grooves of the horn and Jim was going to make mess up I'm just going to make sure that there's very little product again in between the grooves of the nail just so you, you don't flood them and you'll be able to tell the detail so now that looks about right to me so now what i'm going to do is cure this again for two minutes and talk a load of nonsense in the meantime i was asked a couple of weeks ago by someone on facebook if i've got an instagram so i said no not at the moment now within five minutes of them asking me I'd set up my own Instagram. So if you want to go and give me a follow, I'll link the, the put the link in the description box below. So I can go and give me a follow on that. Give me a message to say hi and look through my pictures. But my Instagram is nails by bats, obviously. Um I love communicating with you guys, I really do. Um, and then, yeah, well, if you give me a follow, I'll follow back. Uh, same with on here, if you like today's video, click the like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and comment down below. Come on, this is taking too long. Hello, nail lamp, thank you. Must have done the trick that. So now I'm going to bring you in for a close up. Okay. I'm impressed with how this has turned out. Now the acrylic that I used under the clear is actually called Unicorn as well. And that is by Weibo. That's G615 for Unicorn. Okay, just after this video guys I'll leave a couple of close up pictures so you can get the get a better view of 
the nail. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.